Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are going to make a beautiful summertime girl using the Wonderful Moments, which is a new stamp set and is just absolutely lovely. It has some beautiful images in there. And for me, a year ago or so, I worked with Beautiful You and created a bikini lady. So when I look at a new stamp set, I always try and find other ways of using it. And this stamp set lends it to be a beautiful girl. So when you ink it up, you need to ink up just the backside of the girl and not obviously the pregnancy bump. And on a piece of Whisper White cardstock and the stemperators, because it makes it easy to line up, you're just going to stamp the image. So with our Stamping Right marker, we are then going to draw some easy lines. I'm no artist, so it is very simple to just bring the line down so it comes through from her tummy and then out so it has a longer flowing skirt. Now once you've done a couple of these images and coloured them in, you can use them on all sorts of different projects because it makes a beautiful girl who is literally just sort of wandering along. Um, this time I thought I would change her so that she's got a little crop top. So by drawing a line in just under the bust line and then just above the waist, it gives a crop top with a long sort of bohemian type style of skirt. And now, for a little sneak peek of what's coming in August, we have some brand new watercolour pencils. And oh my goodness, they are absolutely lovely. The colours are some of our brand new colours that have just come out, and they are beautiful. Um, I'm going to use crushed curry for her hair. And literally, you just lay down some colour very simply, because with the aqua paint afterwards... We are going to add the water to turn the watercolour pencil into a beautiful watercoloured hair. And then we're going to use the gorgeous grape. And it is a beautiful, vibrant purple colour. We're just going to draw in a little band and shape the arm round. Because obviously in the original image, she has a long sleeved top on. So by just putting a little top um, band on, you can make it into a crop cop. Now, the Cajun craze very, very lightly works beautifully as a skin tone. So again, just lightly put it on. And then with this gorgeous grapefruit, gorgeous grape, uh, which is a beautiful purple colour, you're going to colour through and then take our aqua painter and just blend it all through. You can colour her in in whatever medium you would like. Um, I just wanted to try out the new watercolour pencils because they say they are so vibrant. Now with our paper snips we are going to cut her out and you need to follow fairly close along the line and where it comes down to the arm, because originally it was a long sleeved top, you need to cut it in very tightly so it looks as if the arm is bare rather than having the few lines that make it, um, you know, a, a long sleeved top. And again, fussy cutting it out is fairly simple. And again, I've made the, um, the skirt nice and long and flowing so I can use it or trim it down to whatever project I'm going to use. And now you can see we've changed her to this beautiful um, summertime lady. Now with a piece of Wiffer White cardstock and a white mat which has been cut out of the largest stitched shaped framelit circles. Don't worry about all the details now. Um, it will be below in the description box. So please have a look there. 
and with the sponge dauber and some pool party and some Pacific Point um, quite lightly put on we are just going to cover the whole of the circle quite lightly with the colour. Now we're going to take the High Tide stamp set because it has some lovely waves in it which work perfectly with this and we're going to take the Tranquil Tide and we're going to put the Tranquil Tide along the bottom inking it up and the waves you can stamp full strength and then half strength so it makes it look more natural so you've got some light and some dark tones in there again it's very easy being photopolymer to line it up so you can get the horizon perfectly straight and continue the waves along We're also going to use from the same stamp set the Little Birds in Flight. Now I have cut this in two because I quite like the little tiny birds for different projects. So we're just going to use a couple of the Little Birds in Flight just up at the top, almost flying out of the circle. This adds just a little bit of interest in there. Now the easiest way to get the lady within the circle is to take the mask again and we're going to position her once we've lined it up where we want it to go behind the mask and then we're going to draw a line along the edge of that circle at the bottom so it means we can cut a completely level line that runs into that circle so when she's um, stuck on she is going to be exactly in the right curve the way we want it and then with our paper snips we're just going to cut this round in the arch now you could put her on just like this but I actually made a little mount again using two circle dies to go on top of her. So we're going to stick her down with a little bit of Tombow, lining her up to that curve as we wanted. And then we're going to put the little mount on top. Now we don't want this to actually cover the girl. So by gluing it and just easing it onto the right hand side, we can take our paper snips and just snip around where the girl shows. So the circle comes along perfectly and she is just popping out at the top. Now obviously this image can be used for all sorts of other things. I've got so many ideas so please look at subscribing because I will be doing some other ideas with the, um, this lovely stamp set. And again I just snipped off the little excess piece so she's in a complete mount. Now I thought the perfect sentiment from this from Colourful Seasons was just breathe. So again, using the Stamparatus, I just put the sentiment at the bottom and stamped it in the Tranquil Tide again. It's very easy to line things up with the Stamparatus and the magnet holds everything perfectly in place. So stamping with the Tranquil Tide, Just Breathe, 
I thought worked perfectly on this card. You could obviously put whatever sentiment you wanted, but it's a very summery sort of card and we're in the height of summer at the moment. Now I've used a mat of the Tranquil Tide and then put it on a white standard card base. So here we have both of the cards which give a different feel and both have that lovely summery feel. So thank you so much for watching me and I do look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.